So today I'm going to share with you my top five shawl patterns for two coloured shawls. So you would need 100 grams of two different colours. So you should be able to stash dye for those. So my name's Ellie from Craft House Magic. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Now this first one is a bit of a cheat because it is actually two patterns, but you do get both when you purchase one. So we've got the Aria and Zaria shawls by Amber O'Brien. You've got the fingering weight version and you've got the DK weight version. So I will insert some video clips of me actually showing these properly outside so you can see them in a bit more detail. So this pattern is quite a simple pattern, good for beginners, made from basic knit increase and decrease stitches and some slip stitches for the colour blending sections. So these are a really nice shape, they're long and narrow and really easy to wear. The actual fingering weight version is larger than the DK weight version but they're both really lovely to wear and they're both my favourites. I would recommend this for beginner knitters and it's a very useful pattern to have because it is very wearable. You can see the DK version is slightly smaller than the fingering weight version and as well as being a bit a little bit shorter as well but it still comes out as a very similar pattern um, with the zigzags so both the aria and zaria shawls are by amber o'brien but you do get both of those patterns if you purchase one of them so the next pattern that i would recommend is also one suitable for beginners and it's the right around the corner shawl i have two versions of this in exactly the same um weight of yarn they're both finger and weight yarn this shawl doesn't look very exciting when it's just hanging there but when you've actually got it on it's really designed well because it looks really nice when it's on i've got two versions one with large tassels and one with small tassels and they are both really lovely to wear you can use two of your favorite colors which blend together in this main section and then you use them to border that at the bottom sides and then you can use any leftovers to make tassels so you can add whatever size tassel you like you can see here that i've large on one and small tassels on the other but that is a definitely one i'd recommend because it looks really nice on not just being held up on camera so the right around the corner shawl is by Lisa Haynes. So my next pattern is the Pure Joy by Hohi Locatelli. And this is an older pattern, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It is another long and narrow shawl pattern, which can be easily worn. And it makes a beautiful drapey shape around your neck it's very very wearable and it's got some beautiful eyelets on this one i actually used 200 gram skeins but i did end up going into a 20 gram for the the main color this beige in this version so just be aware that if you've got a short yardage on one of your colors don't use it for the main color because you may run out you could always reduce the amount of short rows you do if you do feel as if you're getting close to the end but that is one i really recommend because it's lovely to wear as well as to look at and knit as well the next one i've got that i really love is barndom by stephen west and it is one that's knitted actually you can knit the two color version and the three color version but this is my two color version and it's just such a beautiful pattern this is a little bit more challenging because you've got those cables in the middle but such a beautiful item once you've finished it is a sort of v shape which is nice so it makes it easier to sort of lay on your shoulders rather than being a flat start to it um, I blocked it out just like this and it's come out really lovely and I would definitely knit this again absolutely beautiful so that's a Stephen West pattern called Barndom I love the way he's incorporated the simple cables in there and the edge border which just really goes really nicely there is a, like I said there is a three color version as well which is slightly bigger but this seems quite long the length of the whole thing is bigger than my arm span so it is a lovely shawl the last shawl I've got to show you is the Different Light Shawl by Justina Lorkowska. This is a bit more challenging as well. There's a bit of brioche in it, but it just comes together as a beautiful pattern. And there's also some lace at the bottom as well. Beautiful way of using 200 gram skeins of yarn. So I will put the details of the yarns that I've used for all these shawls in the description bar down below but hopefully that's given you a bit of pattern inspiration of what you might knit up with your 
shawl sets or any of the yarn club shawl sets that I have on, in my shop on a monthly basis. I will have a list of two colour shawl patterns on my Ravelry page which I'll link to in the description bar down below but these are my top five. Hopefully that's given you some ideas to cast on your shawls. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. Is that your leaf? Yeah. What do you like about this shawl, Jensen? Good. Is it the pom-pom? Yeah. Yeah. Blue. They're not pom-poms, they're tassels, aren't they? Mummy said it wrong. Night night. Are you going to sleep? No. <laughs> can, you, yeah. can you say bye bye? Bye bye.